So, I think at first I was going to talk about all the current events and everything going on. And that would be easy to do, but honestly, I don't know if anybody really wants to hear about it right now. There's so much of it on the news and everywhere else. So, I want to kind of get away from that and talk about, well, why I, uh, why I have a motorcycle in the first place. And, uh, simple reason is to get away from, you know, current events and everyday stuff. Things that, uh, things that can get you down, things that can be overwhelming. It's good stress relief. So, I figure it is fitting to, to kind of talk about that. Um, I first started riding when I was really little. Uh, my dad had uh, dirt bikes and I had a little Suzuki JR50, which is a tiny little kid's motorcycle, um, which today it seems crazy. I think they still make bikes like that, but it just seems crazy to let, you know, a five or a six year old on a motorcycle. And it had a, a governor where you could control the, uh, the throttle a little bit and tone it down. But still, it was, it was a motorcycle for a tiny child, it's, which <laughs> sounds crazy. And uh, then I remember my stepdad bought me a, it was a Yamaha, it was a Yamaha 100. And at first I was terrified of it because uh, compared to the little Suzuki, it was gigantic. So I think at first I wasn't sure what to make of it because it, was, it was just seemed so intimidating. And uh, But as I got bigger, I got used to riding it and I really liked it, but just didn't get a chance to ride very often where we lived in Wyoming because uh, we lived in town and can't really legally ride around on the streets when you're, oh, what was I? Probably you know, fourth or fifth grade. And still, still a little bit intimidated by the size of it and the power. And I was, I was not a, I was tall, but I was not strong. I was pretty skinny when I was young. Anyway, so grew up, rode mountain bikes a lot in high school and in college, and I loved that. And. Uh, after I got married, settled down, got a house with a garage, I started asking my wife if uh, I could get a, a, a big boy motorcycle, a grown up motorcycle, and she said no. And so it only took me 10 years, but I finally wore her down. Also, our first house had a really steep driveway, and I had no business trying to take a motorcycle up and down that thing. So I got my first motorcycle about four years ago, maybe five years ago. Got a little Honda 500, CB500X, which is kind of like, an, it was basically a little commuter bike uh, that was dressed up like a, uh, and kind of like an off-roady bike. And rode that for about a year, got used to riding again, learned how to ride, took it out on the weekends, and took it to places. One thing that was fun to do is there's this online motorcycle website and forum. They do these things called, uh, uh, I think they call it TAG. And you can... What you do is you go to a place. Uh-oh. I'm going to hold on until they go by. 
hope everybody's okay. Anyway, somebody goes out, posts a picture of some cool place with her motorcycle in the picture, and then maybe gives a couple of clues as to like where this particular place is. And so you have to try and figure out where it is and then go out there before anybody else sees it or figures out where it is or has a chance to get out and then take a picture of your motorcycle in the same place so i spent a lot of weekends doing that going all over the state and it was a lot of fun and uh i liked i liked the honda it did a lot of really th things well but it, it was a small bike and i didn't always feel comfortable on it and i really love uh these bikes called triumph bonnevilles and they're kind of a classic bike they've been making you know they from like the 60s 50s 60s 70s and uh they came out with a new version of that and uh it was really cool so i really wanted one of those and i was thinking about it and talking about it to my wife and it was father's day and she said it's father's day why don't you go to the motorcycle dealer and see if you want one of those bikes and i was like i really love you and uh so i got a triumph bonneville and that was right about the time i started working at the middle school went from went, it was a couple of months after i got hired at the middle school from from teaching high school for 16 years and so it's new job new school new district new bike and I uh, loved that bike. But again, it was kind of on the small side. Like, I felt big when I was on it. But it looks, it, it's an awesome looking bike. It sounded really cool. Uh, and I took that one summer, the first summer, first year after I got it, and uh, took it from South Carolina to my parents in Idaho. Uh, and I do maybe, you know, five, six, seven, up to 800 miles a day sometimes, and then, and then stop for the night. And uh, being on that bike, as much as I loved it and as, as cool as it looked, it made me realize that if that's the kind of riding I like to do, uh, I would probably be better off on a, a bigger bike. Please don't murder me. Thank you. Uh, so that's when it gave me a long time to, to think about like what other kind of bike I would like to be on if I was going to do long trips because uh, it was about this time then about a year or so later we we moved and so my commute to, to my new school went from being oh, 30 minutes to about five and I could take the take my girls to the school next door and so I figured riding was going to be less of a everyday sort of thing and more like on vacation and uh, you know more for long trips and fun. Whew, it's hot. And so I started looking for a bigger bike and uh, this the Harley Davidson about a year earlier just came out with these new soft tails and that's what this is it's 2018 uh, Herited soft tail Herited soft tail classic. I think I'm saying that right Ooh, It's a big hill And as soon as I sat on it, I was like yep, this is my bike uh, So I got this about a about a year ago in July or be a year in July And so I haven't had a chance to take it on any big trips yet. Yeah, but that's hopefully this summer, if things calm down, I'll be able to do that. 